Crazy Pixel. <laughs> By design, roguelike games can be a bit intimidating. Throw in some RPG elements and various leveling progress and you have a game that can be downright brutal. Star Renegades by developer Massive Damage and publisher Raw Fury rolls the dice with a punishingly challenging sci-fi RPG. While this tough roguelike may alienate some players, it's all built off an undeniably well-formed foundation and presented with beautiful, dynamic visuals. In Star Renegades, you play as a rebel team in an intergalactic battle against the Imperium. A robot named J5TN1 helps guide your group through multiple dimensions, with the hope of finding a reality where your party is victorious. It's a nice bit of plot that tries to make sense of your various deaths as just an alternate dimension. Star Renegades is ultimately broken into four worlds. Each is procedurally generated upon visiting, but some constants remain. Elements such as a day and night cycle which limits your traversal of the world need to be taken into consideration at times, which forces you to study your surroundings and prioritize which path is the best for each run. Visits to a world are broken into a three-day cycle. At the end of the third day, a behemoth forces you into battle. If you reach the behemoth before the cycle is up, you can choose to jump straight into battle if you feel confident in your odds of survival. Exploring the world will help you level up, find new items, and opens possibilities of camping. Camping takes place at the end of each day and allows you to use cards that you've acquired throughout the run. These can restore health or give you buffs for future battles, but the possibilities are rather vast here as you can unlock some devastating attacks. Battles are classic turn-based. Above the battle screen is a timeline telling you specifically every member's upcoming move order. Before you select your move, you can see how each option can affect the timeline. Each move will show you a potential outcome of that action, like remaining health or if your action will leave you for an open KO. However, just because these are possible outcomes doesn't mean they are set in stone. Variations in critical attacks, accuracy, and buffs all play a part in the actual execution of moves. Moves range from light, medium, to heavy attacks. Lighter attacks may put your attack first but will cause less damage, and the reverse for heavy attacks. While the actions play out on screen, the camera dramatically zooms and pans following the events. Somehow this was never disorienting, instead, the feature enhanced a sense of action dramatically. You are even able to fast forward battles to keep the action moving. As one would imagine, there is a variety to each character's stats and abilities as well as enemies you can fight against. Many different strategies and planning are crucial to advance the narrative. Even with the help of the timeline bar, I found myself contemplating all my actions before acting in particularly dangerous situations. If your team member is knocked out, they will be revived at 1 HP if you successfully defeat the battle with your remaining members. However, occasionally upon revival, the character will have permanent damage which directly affects their stats. If every member of your team is killed, you are sent to the overworld hub and must start from the very beginning. In addition, the only thing you keep are points to unlock new characters and new job roles for those characters, many of which provide stat boosts. You can also use some acquired points for a chance of better weapons and item drops for your next run. All levels and any other progression is wiped away. The first time I made it to the second world and died, I assumed I might just be taken back to the beginning of that world, but I was in for a rude awakening. It was at this moment I realized Star Renegades wasn't messing around. Given that conquering one world can easily take over an hour to do, it's pretty unforgiving and at times downright discouraging. I imagine the majority of players won't have the patience for this or the will to continue after the first couple of tragic losses. But it's clear death after death beating the game is entirely reserved for only the most diehard and persistent gamers. The downside to so many repeat runs is you become incredibly familiar with your enemies you fight. While each has their unique skill set and attacks, some just come off feeling very similar in appearance. This is exacerbated by the seemingly slight or minor variations of enemies present in preceding worlds. Enemies that would typically be relatively strong in a standard RPG just don't feel like the variety they're perhaps intended to after numerous runs. Behemoths and mini-bosses are pretty fun and have some cool designs. They can also make for some nail-biting experiences, as they are certainly your most significant threat of progression loss. Along with these cool character designs is a bright and vibrant world. The depth in battle scenes and backgrounds in particular stood out to me as simply amazing. Even though you see the same worlds again and again, at least they are pretty to look at. Star Renegades offers players a fresh and unique experience that sadly loses its appeal after its punishing roguelike systems have you experience the same elements over and over. 
Even through the repetitive enemies you face along the way, there is no denying that the characters and environments that make up this world make it a must-play within this genre. Still, the best parts are reserved for those who are seeking a genuinely challenging roguelite RPG sci-fi adventure, which may leave others lost in space. Noisy Pixel is giving Star Renegades a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching! Noisy Pixels are run by a group of gamers who work hard to bring you news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.